The first project for the semester was designing a outside place in a quarry north of Boston in Rockport. We have gone to the quarry and they were asked, the students were asked to find a place in the quarry that they liked, photograph it, sketch it, understand it, bring it back to the studio, and then design a classroom for themselves and me uh, that was sheltered, not enclosed, but it was the idea was making a place in the quarry that was neither natural or was it to be, appear to be built. It was to fit into the context of the quarry. Um, they were welcome to use any materials that they thought would relate to the quarry. When they came back from the quarry, I then asked them to do their first design and their first ideas of the quarry. So what you're about to see is the very first pinup of the semester of this very first project. So what I uh, saw that um, was the best thing about this night was um, how nature is really, um, it, it, it's got a logic to it. And every gap and everything that, that is there is filled in in some ways. There's nothing lost, there's nothing, nothing wasted. Everything sort of belongs in that sort of net of things. And um, so when I, I decided that my site would be right here, where all the seagulls were, um, I figured that the seagulls would know better than me what the best place was. Um, so nature has that logic, um, so the animals do too. And um, also the you know, I realized the things that they liked about the site. Um, but if you notice, it's, it's got a lot of, um, it's, it basically is a cliff sort of cut out. And what I'm trying to do is fill that space as nature does, just have that space be filled in. Um, and this is what the site looks like now. Um, there's the seagulls. Uh, and then this is what I'm hoping to do is to sort of fill that. Um, to just make it look like how it used to be, um, how I imagined it to have been um, before when nature was, out, was already present in there and I didn't really change it. Um, and I like the idea of just being quite through in those gaps. Um, here it shows just how the, even, in a, even the grass and the ground and the, the soil um, evens out the, all the rocks, even though they're jagged. Um, so evening things out, here's a site, hoping that I'll just even that out in a way. Um, also, by, so while I was sitting there, I was, um, I listened to the seagulls, and they were a little bit annoying at times, but just the, the sound of the water splashing, the sound of them um, just flying around, um, the wind rustling of all the plants and things, that was also part of the experience. And, um, I'm hoping to coexist with the seagulls. I don't want to. This is the site uh, looking at it southward. Um, the seagulls live in here. Uh, I saw this small sort of space here as a private area, also in here as a private area, and then this bigger space as a common place. Um, I'm looking at the studio as more of a dynamic place rather than all of us having our desks. Um, this is my idea, is adding stone wall to the side so that it blends and I, I just I'm very literal about um, I just imagine these trees just growing out of those gaps in the rocks and um, making a canopy and intertwining on the top and um, sort of like how when we entered the space there we came in this like tunnel of just like canopy of plants um, that's sort of what I want to do that that whip of, of plants and people sitting around uh, with the drawing boards on the laps, moving around, going down here to look out. Um, that's the idea. Uh, here is my model. Um, I was thinking of stairways on the side and then going all the way down. Um, but adding steps from one space to the other. But it could be. What did you just take away? Um, these are the steps. Oh, okay. Um, well, I could take out all the pieces no, and have you no. see the original, but basically I added the stone walls. Um, and I'm thinking of using, I, I, I don't feel like I want to 
to disturb the environment. I feel like I want to use what's already there, that sort of the, the space is telling me, this is useful, you know, use me as such. This is a sitting, a sitting area. Um, that is a drawing board, this is a drawing board. Um, I, I don't want, I, I feel like I can just work with what I have, fill that space in, um, and, and not disturb anyone. None of the animals nor the plant life. And can you just talk a little bit about that? Because it's quite different, it looks quite different than your sketch. Okay, well, this is sort of the abstract version of the sketch. Um, since the, the spot that I picked is going to be very sunny, um, I wanted to take advantage of that. So um, I want something that, that will be clear, but also create some some shadow, some movement to, um, and in some ways, I'm trying to use this as a tunnel um, on this side, and maybe up here, sort of a curvature of the roof so that it traps light in and it brings it into the space and it might bounce off from the top and go down um, into the studio. Um, but it, I just imagine it just growing out of the ground and just covering it up again. It's a very, very good start. And then that gives me a license to negative, you see, now that I've done it. So, um, I'm really impressed also how quickly we have understood the quarry and the subtleties of, of the observations that you've made. Uh, I think the idea of coexisting with the seagulls is wonderful. I don't know how you do that, and if you can do that. But I have to tell you a story. I have a little summer house where I was, in which uh, two uh, young deer have decided it was their house. Oh boy. And uh, they, I was there, and they were there. And they were sort of wondering why I was there. Because <laughs> I'm, they're there more than I'm there. And um, we became friends over a couple of days. The two fawns, they're both uh, that size, the dogs. And you said the word, and I said, coexist. I think we could live together. So th the sensitivity towards the seagulls, which might have more problems than the deer, I don't know, in certain ways, is wonderful. And how you do that, I don't know. This one is very interesting to me, again, from the observation of the seagull place. I think you're right. I think the seagulls know something. That they, they uh, know more than you know. They've been around there I don't know, uh, again, how happy they're going to be about you moving in, but that's, they'll let you know, I think, if they're not. Uh, but I think it's a very good observation that this is a natural kind of place that you want to be somewhere. Uh, the translation of that into what you say, which is the case with all of us in the beginning as architects, and what we do is different. Um, and that's our job. That's what this is all about to try to get the head down to the body, out to the hands, and into this, what it is we need. And we're not going to get it right. And I've been at it for a few years longer than you have, and you'll see when I show you my own work that I don't get it right either. None of us do. I would like to challenge and question whether in this case the notion of this cover need to be as organic as what you're suggesting here. Because when I see, if I, if I, when I saw this, there is something already very elegant about the abstraction of this cover against the cord. People see that. Um, it's quite beautiful. I was sitting over there looking at it, and the curved forms and the way that, that you have started to address uh, the solid is quite wonderful. More wonderful in my mind than what's in your mind, which is this. Mm -hmm. And this is a takeoff. I mean, this is the beginning. But whether you correctly translate the architectural form from this great problem in front of is not clear to me. There could be another form. As an example, these could be even more uh, sails, move, might move around, flutter, canvas, different materials. But it's very, very powerful, the form making related to the qualities of underneath. I also think in this one it's very exciting that she has made some changes on it, added, added to it, but we've reinforced 
place. So you are, what I would say, very contextual. You've taken what's there, followed the clue of the seagulls, and tried to improve it. Good start, but you're only halfway there in terms of the architectural form. But you're a good halfway there in the sense that you're relating this to the nature, to the quarry, this to the sky. I think this is horrible. I agree. Because, uh, <laughs> It, you know, it's like a fire escape coming down, with a second means of egress, which is not what our um, uh, This is a little bit better, but still could be a little bit more subtle. Uh, I don't know where I'm talking. You had me the other day here. I don't want to be there. Thank you. I'll be someplace else. So uh, be careful about suggesting where the classroom is in terms of the direction, because professors may not want to be where you want them to be. So, but good start. 